Hey guys, Anasius here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I would like to show you guys on how to install Android Lineage OS version 17.1, which is it now has support the Android 10, and we're going to install it on our Nintendo Switch, which is capable to run any custom firmware. Alright, we are back on another new video. So in this video, I will show you guys on how to install Android on your Nintendo Switch. Alright, so first off, before you guys follow my tutorial here, so make sure you guys already have a hackable Switch unit. So I'll be using the Switch version 1. And I'm not sure if you can do this on a Nintendo Switch Lite or the Nintendo Switch version 2. So I'm not sure if this will work with the Nintendo Switch Lite. So I'm not recommended if you guys use a Switch Lite in order to follow this um, tutorial. Okay, so first off, what you need to do is you need to grab some files which will cost around uh, maybe one gigabyte for all of this stuff so the first one you need to get is the Hackathy so this Hackathy will allow us to install some of the stuff and it will allow us to launch the uh, Android on our Nintendo Switch later on so we need to grab the uh, Hackathy here which is the latest build uh, version 5.54 so let's go ahead and click to the uh, on the top link here and after that, after you get the Hackathon, the second one you need to get is the Open Gaps here. So Open Gaps. Uh, once you guys enter the website, all right. So once you guys enter the website here, so I will leave the links down below. So make sure you guys have to check the uh, description box down below in order to uh, grab all the files uh, that we'll be using in this video. So I will include all the links and I will put it on the description box down below. Right, so once you guys are inside the Open Gaps website, and what you want to do is here is you need to click to the ARM64, and then uh, you need to click to the 10.0, which is the latest uh, Android versions uh, they have updated for the Nintendo Switch. Now, on the variant here, you need to choose uh, Pico. So, this Pico is for a full tablet, and uh, which means you guys will use it on a full uh, handheld mode if you guys wanted to use I want to install the Android and here is the TV stock so this TV stock is for those of you guys who wanted to dock your Nintendo switch in order to uh, use this Android on your Nintendo switch okay so I'll be I will choose the Pico here so you guys want to use it as the uh, dock or you guys want to use it on the TV you need to choose the TV stock here now once you have choose a decision, now go ahead and click to the red icon here. Now uh, once you have clicked it, it will download all the selected uh, the selected files that you guys um, select just now. Right, so I will cancel the download since I already have downloaded it, uh, all the files here. So we already have get the Hackathy and then the open gaps. And the three things left that you need to get is the iCosa tablet here. So this is the uh, Lineage OS. So you, I will leave the links down below. So make sure you guys check the links description box down below in order to download this file. And then you need to grab the alarm disable also. And then the last things you need to get is Joy-Con Xbox. So this one will uh, allow us to use the Joy-Con on the Android uh, OS itself. Alright, so once you guys have downloaded all the files, now what you want to do here is you need to extract the hacker T first. So I have the hacker T here. Now go ahead and connect your Switch micro SD card to your PC. So before you guys proceed, make sure you guys have a larger SD card in order to install a full Android on your Nintendo Switch. And um, for the SD card or for the memory card size, I recommend you guys to use the 16 gigabyte or 32 gigabytes. So that is the uh, minimum that you can use, uh, which is the 16 gigabyte in order to install the Android. So if you guys have uh, more space, uh, if you guys have bought the larger SD card, so that will be great in order to uh, if you guys want to install Android on your micro SD card. So a uh, lot of space you guys can download a lot of the uh, a lot of apps and games. Alright. So uh, we're going to extract the Hackathy uh, zip file first. Now go ahead and drag and drop it to the root of your micro SD card. So I already have copy all the files here as you guys can see on my micro SD card. 
and uh, once you guys have uh, copy the Hecate now go ahead and open the Ecosa tablet um, which is the full Lineage OS firmware here so you guys will find once you guys uh, open it up you guys will find two different folders and one Lineage OS so you might want to extract all of these three files to the root of your micro SD card right, so that's all what you guys need to extract to your micro SD card so three things left here is uh, you don't need to extract it anywhere so you guys need to copy this in a zip files because we are going to flash all these three stuff by using the uh, TWRP later on so now go ahead and drag and drop it to the root of your micro SD card so I won't do that since I already have uh, copy all the files here on my root of my micro SD card alright so now once that is done now we may disconnect our micro SD card from our PC alright so now what you want to do here you need to put it back to your Nintendo switch so like I said if you guys wanted to follow this you need to have a hackable switch model so if you guys don't have a hackable switch model, so this will not work. Alright. So you have put into the hack T here, so I'm going to show you guys. Yes, I'm going to turn off my Nintendo Switch since that I accidentally rebooted into the hack T menu just now. So now what I want to do here is you need to boot your switch into the RCM mode. So now I'm going to uh, put my RCM clip here in order to boot my switch into the RCM mode so you guys might want to do that also so once you guys have put your switch into the um, RCM mode and what I want to do here is need to connect your USB type C from your PC to your Nintendo switch alright so now once you have plug in your USB type C from the PC to your Nintendo switch uh, you guys might hear the notification sounds on your PC so that means your switch has successfully boot RCM mode now go ahead and execute trigger RCM GUI so if you guys not familiar with the trigger RCM GUI this is a tool where you guys will launch your um, you guys will use this in order to launch your switch into the custom firmware so now what I want to do here is you need to click click oh sorry so what you want to do here you need to click to the yellow icon right next to the inject payload all right so now go back to your uh, hackety zip files now go ahead and grab the hackety bin files here and then just extract it anywhere you like on your pc okay so now i have extracted it to my desktop here now go ahead and uh, click to desktop on the rcm uh, trigger rcm gui now go ahead and select the Hackathy uh, bin files double click to it and then click to inject payload now on, on our nintendo switch you should launch the Hackathy menu as you guys can see uh, right here okay so here is the Hackathy menu and it tells here in the date and time so we're going to i'm going to skip this uh, we'll set it up later on so here is the Hackathy menu now we're going to install the uh, joycon first uh, which is the Xbox Joy-Con in order to use it on the Android later on right so now what you want to do here is you need to tap to the next open here and then go ahead and you guys can see uh, you guys will find the dumb uh, Joy-Con and BT so I think that BT will stand for Bluetooth so go ahead and tap to it Right, so now it tell you guys uh, success, as you guys can see right here. Sorry. So as you guys can see right here, now go ahead and tap OK. Alright, now go back. And then you guys need to go to Tools. Now as you guys can see there's the Partition SD card on the right side here. On the SD Partition and the USB, now go ahead and tap to it. Alright. So now uh, it will say you guys the SD files will be back up automatically. So now go ahead and tap OK. And now you guys can see there's the host, Emu MMC, uh, Linux, and then Android. Now go ahead and uh, slide in the Android user here since that we are installing Android. 
Okay, so now go ahead and slide in. So I'm going to tag all these size uh, of my micro SD card in order to flash an Android here. Now what you want to do here is you need to tap to next step. Okay, so it's uh, now it tell you guys the warning. This will uh, this will partition the SD card. So now go ahead and tap start. Alright, so now it starts to backing up a files here. Now we're going to wait until it finish. Alright, so now it's say done. Uh, so as you can see here, now what we want to do here is you need to tap to flash Android. Alright, so uh, now I'll tell you guys this will flash kernel, DTP and TWRP. If found, do you want to continue? Now go ahead and tap continue. Uh, now go ahead and uh, so now it tells you guys do you want to reboot into the DWRP to finish Android installation? Now go ahead and tap continue. So make sure you guys tap to continue and not skip the TWRP uh, setup since that we are going to flash and install the Android uh, using the TWRP menu later on. Now, what I want to do here is need to swipe to allow modif modifications. Now, go ahead and swipe it off. All right, so I hope that you guys can see it clearly here, since that I'm using my old camera. And uh, okay, so now uh, we are inside the TWRP menu. Okay, so now what I want to do here is need to go to install on the very first uh, select here. Alright, now go ahead and tap to select storage. Alright, so now uh, what I'm going to do here is need to select micro SD card on the very bottom here. Okay, so now go ahead and tap to OK. So once you have hit OK, now it will show you guys all this stuff, which is the zip files that you copy onto your micro SD card uh, earlier. Okay, so now we're going to flash one by one all of this stuff. So I will start with the alarm here. So do not start with the open gaps first. So we're going to install the open gaps on at the very end of this video. Now go ahead and tap to uh, any of the zip files that we copy on our micro SD card. Right. So now once we have select the zip files, now go ahead and swipe it off to flash. So now once you have installed it, do not hit reboot system yet. So you need to ta uh, tap to wipe catch and Delvic. Now go ahead and swipe to wipe. Alright, so now go back. Go back again. And now go ahead and tap and, and now go ahead and choose uh, another zip files that we so once again uh, after you guys have finished installing the zip files um, now go ahead and tap to wipe all right now hit back and then press the back arrow again now choose the uh, next zip files oh sorry so i'm going to install the line edge here first slide it off so now we're going to repeat this uh, one by one until uh, the last one which is the open gaps. So that is the last thing that you need to flash by using the TWRP here. Alright so right now I'm installing the line edge 17.1 so this may take a while since that this is the uh, large file so we need to wait until it finish to install here first. Alright, so now once that is finished, now go ahead and tap to wipe catch. Alright, so now go ahead and swipe it off. Alright, now go back and then tap to back arrow. So here are the last ones that we need to install, which is uh, that we need to flash, which is the open gaps ARM64. Tap to it and then swipes to confirm flash. So now it starts to flash the open gaps.
so this one is the last thing that you need to do and after this you can use uh, Android on your Nintendo Switch fully so uh, like I tell you guys I don't know if this works with the Nintendo Switch Lite so if I have a, a Nintendo Switch Lite I would like to test it by myself since that I don't have a Nintendo Switch Lite or a Nintendo Switch version 2 so I cannot test this on both of the newer Switch models Right, so for those of you guys that not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Don't forget to hit the bell icon as well in order to follow up uh, my works. Alright, so that is all we need to uh, flash install on our Nintendo Switch here. Alright, so now what we need to do here is we need to tap the reboot system in order to reboot into the Android Lineage OS. So now I think that I have install all of this stuff uh, without any problem so I think that now it will launch the Android Lineage OS right so I can hear uh, so I can feel the Joy-Con uh, connected to the switch here so I think that is the uh, features that have been updated with, uh, on this new Android 10 Alright, so now um, we have successfully uh, installed Android on our Nintendo Switch as you guys can see here. Hi there. Now go ahead and tap to start. So this is all the setups. So if you guys so if you guys have uh, used an Android phone, this is all the first setups that you need to uh, annoyingly pops up once you guys bought a new phone. Alright, so there we go. That is, uh, so this is the Android Lineage OS on a Nintendo Switch, as you guys can see right here. So I wonder how we enable the uh, controller. Oh, so the controller already have installed since that we are installing it at the uh, beginning of the video. Alright, so it took a while in order to uh, let it detect the controller all right so that's all for this video so if you guys think that this video is useful and helpful please do leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more switch tutorials video so if you guys are interested to see a new update for a Nintendo switch games please visit my youtube channel here and don't forget to subscribe to support my youtube channel here and help me to reach 10k subscribe this year so I'll see you guys on the next upcoming videos. Thank you very much everyone who have watching this video. I really appreciate it. And for those of you guys that already have subscribed to my YouTube channel. I really really appreciate it. Alright so I'll see you guys on the next upcoming videos. Goodbye everyone.